Have you ever wondered how chronic pain affects a person's daily life? It's not just about the physical discomfort that can make even the simplest tasks seem like climbing Mount Everest. It's about the emotional toll it takes, the frustration of not being able to do the things you once loved, the exhaustion from sleepless nights, the isolation from not being able to keep up with friends and family. Chronic pain doesn't just hurt your body, it chips away at your spirit, your hopes, and your dreams. It can feel like a life sentence where the prison is your own body. Everyday activities like cooking, cleaning, even getting dressed can become monumental challenges. The decrease in quality of life is significant and it's felt in every waking moment. With the constant search for effective treatments, one method that has been gaining attention is red light therapy. But what exactly is it? Red light therapy. A term you might have heard, but what does it mean? Imagine a treatment that uses low-level wavelengths of light, invisible to the naked eye, to penetrate the skin and stimulate cellular activity. This is red light therapy, also known as photobiomodulation. This ingenious therapy has a range of uses, from improving skin complexion and reducing wrinkles, to promoting wound healing and tissue repair. But perhaps its most intriguing application is its potential to alleviate chronic pain. The science behind it? It's simple. The red light stimulates energy production within cells, reducing inflammation and promoting healing. For those with chronic pain, this could mean a world of difference. The increased cellular activity might just be the key to unlock relief from the relentless grip of pain. While it sounds promising, like any therapy, it has its pros and cons. Let's delve into those. Every coin has two sides. First, the positive aspects of red light therapy. One of the most significant advantages of this treatment is its potential to reduce inflammation. Inflammation is often a key player in chronic pain, so any reduction can potentially bring relief. Secondly, red light therapy can increase blood flow, which in turn may help nourish damaged tissues and speed up the healing process. Furthermore, several scientific studies back these claims. For instance, a study published in the Journal of Physical Therapy Science found that patients with chronic lower back pain experienced significant relief after undergoing red light therapy. Another study in the International Journal of Sports Medicine reported enhanced recovery in athletes post-exercise, indicating the treatment's potential to speed up healing time. So it seems that red light therapy could be a beacon of hope for those suffering from chronic pain. However, it's not without its downsides. Now let's flip the coin and look at the other side. The cons of red light therapy. While red light therapy can be a beacon of hope for many, it's essential to acknowledge its potential downsides. One of these is the potential side effects. Some people may experience mild discomfort, such as headaches or irritability, after a session. It's not common, but it's worth mentioning. Another consideration is the lack of long-term studies. Although the initial research is promising, more comprehensive long-term studies are needed to fully understand the therapy's long-term effects and efficacy. And lastly, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the cost. Red light therapy can be pricey. Each session may not break the bank, but the cumulative cost of multiple treatments may be a significant financial commitment for some. While it's crucial to consider these cons, it's equally important to remember that every individual's experience will differ. So, what's the final verdict on red light therapy for chronic pain? Well, the picture that emerges is a complex one. Red light therapy has shown promising results in alleviating chronic pain, including back pain. It's been observed to potentially enhance the body's natural healing processes, which could lead to a decrease in pain. However, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. The effectiveness of this therapy can vary greatly depending on the individual and the nature of their pain. It's also worth noting that while red light therapy is generally considered safe, it's not entirely without potential drawbacks. So where does that leave us? It underscores the importance of individualized treatment. Before embarking on any new treatment, it's crucial to consult with your healthcare provider. They can guide you based on your specific needs and circumstances. Remember, in the quest for pain relief, it's essential to stay informed and consider all options. Stay strong and keep the hope alive.